Roses are chrominance blue, water is chrominance red. I suggest you dive into FFM pack. Or we a codec? Does taste have a codec? Most people go into, I don't know, iMovie to do a quick edit and then export for 20 minutes. They haven't heard of FFmpeg. In FFmpeg, two minutes. Proprietary codecs. The codec can't be transcoded in FFmpeg. Does it really exist? FFmpeg uses multi-threading by default. Ah, so efficient. Power of open source. Replace the audio? No problem. Fix the image? No problem. Convert the video? No problem. Concat a PNG sequence? No problem. Create a non-playable file? No problem. Yeah, I can apply a lot. In FFmpeg. Are you a codec? Well, this color codec is offsetting, but I know how to change it. What codec is it? Well, I don't really know. FFmpeg does it for me. H264, 5, 7. Oh, you want me to use the other shot? In FFmpeg? No problem. What you are seeing here are the interlaced artifacts. Uh, no time to explain, but setting the Yade filter to default gives really good results. No time to explain. Did I say I love FFmpeg? What do you mean the video is not playing in quick time? Do you know FFmpeg supports OCR? I haven't found the command yet, but it does support it does support it. Okay. You know I cut a whole documentary in FFmpeg? I also generate my presentation from config files. Set the luminance expression, set the chrominance blue expression, set the chrominance red expression. Why don't we just use FFmpeg to convert all our videos? Because media encoder doesn't use CPU and RAM fully. Let's be honest, it's dynamically linked. And then Premiere Pro has the worst encoders on this planet and After Effects rendered on a single core for the majority of its existence. Even Premiere Pro doesn't use multi-core rendering properly unless you have a proper setup. And do not buy into Xeons for rendering. But if you simply are looking for a better deinterlace, hardware is the solution. You know I cut a whole documentary in FFM. The fun thing about Premiere Pro is it will crash for arbitrary reasons, especially on Sundays because Creative Cloud is on holidays. ProRes 422 on FFmpeg, no problem. It has the newest encoders, except for anything proprietary. Let's see why the Monotonous DTS isn't matching. No re-encoding allowed. V-coded copy only. The output is as readable as it gets and you can't scroll back up in standard shell. How is WebM in 2022 the only one that natively supports transparency? We have flying cars, but oh, beware of transparency. You know what you should learn? FFmpeg. Know the chrominance levels of your video file. 2022, we have flying cars. We have GIFs, 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 and we still don't have transparent formats. RGB plus alpha, what is this? How do you maintain audiovisual materials? A proper care. First, wash and dry your hands roughly. Then use FFmpeg. You're getting Matroska for Christmas and you're getting Matroska for Christmas. The ones who get it, get it. Personally, I prefer to use Matroska container due to its flexibility and low overhead. The conversion to Matroska, here are three ways to do it in FFmpeg. One of them should work. Depending on which version you have, MP4. MP4 is not a format that allows for low-level concatenation. Demuxer. Demuxer. Oh yeah, it will re-encode. Because it internally uses PCM32 format, not PCM16. You know I cut a whole documentary in FFmpeg. Oh, you like the fade in the video? You know how I did it? FFmpeg. How did you know? Do you use FFmpeg? Can I show you? FFmpeg is stable. Usually, but then it will explode if you have an apostrophe in your file name because it doesn't understand that three apostrophe mean one apostrophe in the file name and then you'll spend three hours on Stack Overflow. You know, this side is basically just FFmpeg behind an Nginx. Let's see how we can convert this perfectly fine format EIA 608. I guess you'll have to re-encode. Oh, there's a new version of FFmpeg out? I'll just quickly build it from source. Nah, I can't wait. I'll download the binary. I know the website looks like a scam, but it's really not. Download the binary. Is this the right website? All of this? Just one command. Oh, there was an issue in the... Here are some news from FFmpeg. House key and household video filters. HSV key and H speaks decoder, lit placebo, V flip Volca, ADBCM, RPCA, MoFlex, ANLMF, T mid equalizer. Finally, mods demuxer. It's like Harry Potter. You know what's hard? Beating FFmpeg in terms of decoding speed, unless it's a proprietary codec. Well, I fixed my issue by not using FFmpeg but MKV Toolnix using the MKV merge command. Did I say I love FFmpeg? I must have forgot a space somewhere. Oh, there it is. Mm, okay, 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 okay. ARMV60, that's what I was looking for. You know you can accelerate FFmpeg with CUDA. You just need to have the right version and the right drivers and the right graphics card and the right operating system. CUDA for the win. I mean, for the Windows. Advanced options, where are the demoxers? Uh, 
panic protocols at the end of the day you'll probably ever just need one command and the same command over and over and that one you'll get from stack overflow without understanding ffmpeg but i can recommend understanding it not that i do is there anything better than ffmpeg no i must have the wrong version oh no it's using minus filter complex skip loop filter skips loop filtering so logical skip idct skips idct quantization so logical skip frame skips decoding obviously yours have different h264 base profiles all inputs must have the same attributes baseline high well yeah but in that case the frame size is not restricted here i'll show you why is this video broken actually i don't really use ffmpeg i just automate media encoder with apple script